Hello, Leo, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Cross Watchers. This is your reading for October 2020, not to be confused with Halloween reading, which will come out later in the month. Uh, I am doing the, using the Lenormand with the grand mini tableau. And keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. It might be just bits and pieces. And also... Um, you want to watch all the way to the end because I draw oracle cards at the end. And just an example, my reading for cancer, the oracle cards weren't exactly directly related to the main reading. It just gave additional information that somebody needed to hear or, or for even a different audience. So I want you to keep that in mind as well. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I am going to go ahead and lay down the cards. I lay down the houses first. Houses are placement only, so holders kind of enhances the card on top, but the houses do not relate to each other. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and shuffle all my decks and I will be right back. Okay, the cards are all laid out. I do this in order to save time on the video, but we're going to dive right in. The central card, the center of the spread, now keep in mind the spread are the main spread are these 15 cards. These are destiny cards. These are separate. Okay. The main is the sickle. The sickle um some of the key words could be accidents, surgery, sudden decisions, cutting, harvesting. Okay. And it lies in the house of child. And I'm seeing somebody cutting this rose maybe to save it or harvest it. So there could, somebody could be harvesting something um, or something could be cutting off. Sometimes we have to look at the direction in which the sickle is pointing or the scythe. This is a sickle and it's pointing up to the, the clover. And it feels like somebody's luck could also be running out. And a clover lies in the house of paths. So, lucky decisions. Somebody may have been very lucky in their decision making. And now all of a sudden, that is coming to an end. And we have the cross down here below, which is indicating burdens, worries. And this is having faith. Somebody's faith might be questioned. There also might be problems involved in a friendship, um, loyalty issues, loyalty problems. Okay. I also want to make note, we've got several women in this car, in this reading, no men. So I'm not so sure if this is a romantic relationship between a man and a woman even though the, she is, this lady is falling in the house of man but he, this is a descriptive card this could be a very masculine type of woman a very strong who is the leader who is head of the household okay and I'm going to put this out there because this is going to be for very very few of my viewers but this could be a same-sex relationship it's not for everybody but it could be same-sex i feel like that there's somebody that might view this that is in a same-sex woman woman lesbian type relationship okay one in lesbian terms from what i understand a woman that is has very masculine qualities is butch just saying okay and this is kind of the message i'm getting some a woman that is butch, um, she could also be bisexual. Okay, now, the cornerstones of this reading. We have the snake and we have this lady down here. She's a nemesis. She could actually be somebody who's interfering within your personal relationships. And she's in the garden. Um, she could be... Like being a nuisance, being a nuisance in social media, internet, um, out in the public, 
but he's also a liar and she lies in the house of the tree. The tree, it could be health, it could be family, deep roots. So I'm feeling like if it's not a lesbian relationship, this is more of a relationship of family members. This could be a sister. And the snake also reminds me of jealousy. Okay. And who and hit an enemy. You know, it's like, it feels like a family member. I feel like sister, to be perfectly honest, who is a nemesis. She tells lies and it's all over jealousy. Okay. And this scythe could be indicating cutting somebody off. Now, we have this lady and we have the garden. This garden happens to be fall in the house of woman. So this is somebody who's very important. This is somebody who um, I'm going to say is a social butterfly. She has a lot of masculine properties. And when I say masculine energy, I'm saying I'm feeling like this woman who's very strong. She calls the shots. It's her way or the highway. And she's very dominant. And that's what I'm feeling here. And she's very dominant. She's very social. She has a lot of friends. And that's the source of this jealousy. Somebody, it's almost like she, this one woman had, I'm going to say woman A and woman B. Woman B is the jealous one or the sister, the nemesis. Woman A is the one who is prospering. Okay. She is the one that really is out there and very sociable. She is a social butterfly. And the current situation surrounding this sickle, surrounding this cutting off or harvesting, we have, see, the, the handle is faced towards the anchor. The anchor is about securities and being still. Somebody planting their roots. Okay, if this was a romantic relationship, I would say that this person's so strong, she doesn't really want to settle down. Um, and this is in the house of cross. So there is definitely issues associated with security and settling down. It's like a resistance. It's like one person does not want to settle down. She's a social butterfly. She has all these friends. Then there's this nemesis amongst them. But this is like a harvesting security and cutting off the emotions. This is, okay, I'm going to flat out say about money, prosperity, finances, career, be person A has this complex of want, needing to be liked and she goes out of her way to do that and she's not afraid to cut somebody off and she's she's like really cut off her emotions yeah coffin emotionals you know ending of emotions or ending of a cycle she is cutting off her emotional ties And she is thinking about this is again family okay her thought process is that she's keeping things to her so lucky streaks secret luck is what I'm getting here lucky secrets or lucky knowledge that she's keeping from the family She's thinking about that she needs to hide that because this is lying in the house of Fox, which is smart, cunning. There is somebody cunning within the family unit. And I feel like she's thinking about this and that she needs to cut off her emotions, cut off some contacts, cut people off because it is causing problems within her life. Somebody is a nemesis and it is a family member. Okay. Um, 
and, and what is going on around her. We have fish, we have cross, and we have stars. Problematic resources or problematic finances. Somebody may even be interfering with their job, but because of the house and because of the family, you know, it's a family member who could be interfering with somebody's work, somebody's business. The fish lies in the house of the book. Um, there's problems with finances that woman A may be hiding because she has to keep up this um, status quo type thing. Okay. Um, and she's been very good at it, but this could also be multiple. She has a lot of problems on social media with the stars card. The stars is lying in the house of the scythe, cutting off. So I, I see somebody hitting the unfriend button, the block button on Facebook, because somebody needs, woman A needs to block woman B. Because woman B is so jealous of where woman A has been. And I'm going to say this, woman A probably brought some of it on herself because she has a tendency to brag. And this is coming intuitively, brag about her successes, brag about her accomplishment. And so it is creating this barrier, this jealousy with, I, I really do feel like it's a sister. If it's not a sister, it's a cousin. But it's somebody with, it's a peer within the family. Somebody like in the same age group. Okay. Um, and past inf And what I feel here, past influences is somebody who was very dedicated to their studies that this is like um, security secrets resulting in maybe even a growth in finances fishes increase even though it's in the house of book yeah secret increases yeah there's definitely secret Security secrets, somebody keeping their security a secret of their increases as well. I think this is somebody that, a lesson that somebody had learned. Um, one of these two women may be a little bit more secure than what they say they are, and they're hiding that fact. Then we have luck. You know, somebody's lucky streak is running out and it's creating problems. This is the current timeline. Future timeline, emotional home issues on social media. It's like somebody airing their dirty laundry. <sighs> Come on, people. You don't want to air your dirty laundry on social media. It's going to cause more problems. And I am picking up that it's going to cause problems even for both women. The person doing the broadcasting thinks that they're hurting their sibling when they're going to be hurting themselves as well. Just saying. Um, I am just scouring over the card to see what other information. She is also in the public. Public woman. Who is a nemesis who is jealous yeah she's 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 airing her dirty laundry and if i go across the rows we have some a sneaky person a liar a nemesis is keeping secrets that is changing the home she thinks she's going to get lucky on the home front. You know what? I think that 
possibly woman B could be in public housing while woman A has her own property and her own prosperity. And that, you know, there's so much jealousy here over status quo, public, over this dominant female having all this popularity, having a sense of security, security at home. She has her own home. Okay. Um, but I'm going to do some knighting here. It's hard to knight some of these because there's not, because they're at the corners. You can't really knight them very well. Um, to get two card combinations to describe them. But let's see here. This woman, both women are knighting the sickle. So there is a division. Wow. One is looking to the past and looking at, they're both looking at the past. So it's like dwelling on past problems and that doesn't resolve anything instead of moving forward. Then we have the snake and the lady here and the sun in between. It's like, things looking up for woman B that she wants to walk in the shoes of woman A. Mm. The sun is in the house of riders, so there is definitely messages or information news. There is good news coming for both of these women. Um... Just saying. But we have good news about security. Good news about the problems with somebody's security that is a new development, a new harvest here. Okay? And they're harvesting new security that is going to prove to be very emotional an emotional ending home and heart heart is where the home home is where the heart is wow holy cow you see what i mean by the houses add to the meaning And we have a very resourceful woman here who is handling her problems. And even though there might have been an increase in problems and problems with loyalty, you know, cutting off those problems of cutting off the social media bullshit and I'm hearing maybe even a peaceful resolution coming to this situation. I think that this situation has been I don't think it's a new standing. I think it's an old standing situation that may have just come out. Um, Somebody could be going home. You know, there, there is definitely a blockage with somebody's luck, somebody's fortune. But the sun and fortune, you know, this is going to be a very, a very for a very fortunate event is about to occur. Um, it, 
and I think somebody is about ready to cut off the snake. A public nemesis. If this is not a family member, this could be somebody interfering with the family out of jealousy. But I'm, I still feel intuitively this is a family member. And I think somebody is being cut off. But we're going to look at the destiny line and see where this is actually going. Okay. We have the clouds, we have the mountain, we have the mice. This is a, a restrictive or cold. Clouds is about things that are unclear. The clouds could be literal as far as a storm. Clouds is lying in the house of ship, which is travel and movement. Somebody is, this is, um, confusion. Travel confusion. When I said somebody returning home, somebody may be having a blockage returning home because of weather. Um, there's a definitely, you know, fortunate block and mice mountain. I am going to say this in the destiny line. There could be some travel arrangements being made to try to meet up with family or to try to go home for whatever occasion and what and I think that this is something that's very literal here that all this has happened you know it feels like that there's been blocks thrown up but I feel like it's a fortunate block because this mountain blocks are eaten away at this is Somebody's not going to be able to travel because of weather. That's for some people. Um, but the ambiguity, the cloudiness, the things that are unclear has presented this block and caused things to deteriorate. However, there is this eating away at these blocks to... try to clear things up and progress forward. So I think that right now in October is going to be just a starting point to trying to clear the air. Clearing the air is what I'm getting here. Home is where the heart is and, and the air needs to be cleared and energy needs to be cleansed. I could look at this as smoke, sage, trying to cleanse to remove these mountains. eat away at those obstacles that are standing in the way of this relationship. Okay, I am going to go ahead and get, now here's where I get the Oracle card. Sometimes this relates to the, this reading, reading, sometimes it does not. Okay, and my cards are like wanting to fly all over the place. And Spirit brought my attention about the social media aspect. If it's not social media, they could be calling people on the phone, text messaging, even text messaging other family members and trying to cause a split. Somebody is trying to cause a split within the family. You know, and it's time to nip that in the butt. Uh, 
Okay, additional messages and guidance, please, for Leo, Sun, Rising, Moon, Cross Watchers. If you notice, I stopped saying Venus because it doesn't seem to resonate as much. Anyhow, we have darkness looms on the horizon. So be aware that this nemesis work is not done. And this is an October reading. Okay. So some of this stuff, you may be, you may be on a different timeline with this. Some of this stuff may have already happened. This could be the, in the past, but this is October reading. Um, good fortune and friends with the unicorn. So, you know, this, you know, darkness may have been looming on the horizon, but you do have some, the support of good friends. And this, despite the darkness, when you go through it, you are going to come out on the other side. And we have, beware of who you trust. And the serpent. So we have four cards to come out for you with this deck. And there, this is the nemesis. This is the person. This is the family member that is causing the issues. And causing, you know, the darkness that is coming over within, you know, within your, within your circle. And, you know, beware about, and even though when, if they come with a peace offering, be on your guard. Be careful not to trust them. They, you cut them off and they're going to try to make things right. This is somebody. This is a message for somebody. You know, you cut somebody off. They're going to come back and try to get back in your circle. Apologies and try saying that they want to make things right. They want to keep their friendship or their relationship going with you. Whether romantic or friendship or within family with siblings or cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, whoever. Okay. Be aware. Don't trust them. There is a trust issue there and well warranted. Okay. So this is the message I have for you, Leo. I hope you found this useful and a heads up on what's coming. Please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time and blessed be.